tell me first of all, uh, do you think that uh, this tribute is over? Well, I really don't know. Uh, I keep telling people that maybe the guy's car broke down. Maybe that's why he couldn't make it. But when you look at the date, 2009, posed bicentennial, if it was me doing it and I wanted to end it, I would end it with a bang, so to speak. 2009 makes perfect sense to me for it to end. But that's just a theory. The guy could show up 10 minutes after we're through talking here. We'll just have to wait and see who actually shows up. But my biggest fear is having 50 or 60 Poe wannabes climbing the walls, putting their own tribute on the gravesite. I tell people that if, in fact, it is over with, let it die a peaceful death. Don't start a new one. Uh, what will it mean for you if this is over? This has been uh, uh, year after year for you, every uh, night of January 18th down here at Westminster I'm sorry, Church. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Can you ask that question? What again? will this mean for you every January 18th? You've been down here at Westminster Church. What it will mean for me is uh, I can sleep. <laughs> uh, you know, after, uh, you know, th this has been uh, part of me doing this uh, since 1977. Uh, I don't know if, how I would react if it is over with. Will I still be coming here every January 18th to the 19th? I don't think so. But I've always maintained that the first time he doesn't show up, I will spend the next two consecutive years just in case he does show up again. After two years and he's a no-show, I will officially declare it over with. Uh, what happens to the cognac and roses? Well, we leave the roses on the uh, Poe grave, but I collect the bottles. So you have a nice collection of bottles? Yes. Uh, people want to know, do you know who the Poe Toaster is? I honestly don't know who the Poe Toaster is. We've had suspects over the years, but they've all died, <clears throat> and the tribute continues. Um, I've given up trying to figure out who it is, because if I discovered the identity of the person, I don't know if I could actually keep that secret. I would have to tell somebody, and the minute I would tell somebody, then the secret is gone. It's no longer a mystery. So we make no attempt to identify the person, to, uh, to try to find out who it is. Uh, we want it to end as a mystery if it is over. Uh, but people people suspect that you're in cahoots with somebody. <laughs> or, or that it's you. <laughs> well, you know that it's not me because I'm inside with other people. And I tell people this, that if I was behind this, I, I work for the city of Baltimore. And this, if I was doing this, it's fraud. Yeah. Um, I could be fired from my job that I love very much. Um, I stumbled upon this tribute uh, quite by accident and I, I will be the first to admit that I do capitalize on the publicity value of it because it gives Edgar Allan Poe international coverage. Now I will agree it is theatrical in nature, roses and cognac, middle of the night uh, in, a, in a graveyard, but if that's this person's way of paying tribute to Poe, who are we to say it's odd or strange or whatever? I think it's very touching. I think it's very personal. And I wish it would continue. But if it's over, then it's over. Uh, one last question. Uh, last year, I filmed you uh, closing up the church. And at 10 minutes to 6, you indicated that uh, he was not going to show up for the year. How did you know at 5.50 in the morning that he was done for the year. Well, I, if I said he's not going to show up, that was probably a poor choice of words because what I should have said was he hasn't shown up yet. And since, since 1977, he has never shown up after 6 o'clock in the morning. It's always been between 12 midnight and, gee, I think the, last, the latest he's shown up maybe was... 5.30 in the morning, but that was way back in the early 1980s. It's always been 
between 12 midnight and like 2.30, uh, that, that time frame. So um, I, I just assumed that he wasn't going to show up. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Did I actually say he's not going to show up?